Hi, I'm Sony Artisan, Pat Murphy Racy. Um, most of the videos I make are for the general public or for photographers. This one's not, it's actually for Sony, specifically the people that make decisions about what product to make next. And this video is all about begging you to make a 300 millimeter 2.8 G Master lens. For God's sakes, please make this lens for us. Um, I wanna talk about a couple things. It's great for senior pictures, for weddings, for sports, for politics. Um, it would fit in a backpack so nicely with even three or four other lenses and two bodies in a small photo backpack. Um, this is a lens that is compact and light, um, and you haven't even made it yet, and you make stuff so light, I would love to have the lightweight nature of a 3028 GM. Um, there's a couple things, sports, politics, auto racing, volleyball, and photojournalism. I'm just going to hit those real quick. Uh, basketball down court, 300 millimeter is the lens. It doesn't matter if you shoot in the NBA or if you're shooting high school ball in a dark or dark gym. It's just the lens for down court. Uh, it's a great lens for doing remotes with, track and field, uh, overhead for basketball and hockey, whatever. Uh, it's actually a better second lens that matches up better with a 600 GM than a 400 GM because it's too close in focal length. You kind of want to have big jumps. So 300, it would be the 600 will be double the 300 focal length. Uh, in politics, um, many people shoot, you know, the White House. They shoot press corps and the campaigns, man, Iowa, New Hampshire. People are jumping on and off of buses and planes constantly. They cannot handle a 428. It's too big. But a 328 around your shoulder is the perfect thing to just be standing on a platform and isolate something and nail it. It's beautiful. Uh, auto racing, when you get inside the infield, it's a really good lens for that having cars come into the corners, whether it's banked or whatever. Um, stacking up the field after caution flags. You know, they come around, they're all put together. It's a killer way to uh, stack things up with a true super telephoto 300 millimeter focal length. It's great for driver's headshots, pre-race, where you're out there and you're trying to get as many of these pictures of portraits of the drivers as you possibly can. Um, it's, it's ideal for that. And the last thing is, you know, when you're covering dirt tracks, rural racing, man, out in the country, there just is not that good a lighting and it's on dirt. You know, they're not, they're not racing on ice, like, or, uh, you know, on a shiny basketball floor, it's dirt. So it really would be helpful to have a 300 or 2.8 in those situations. Volleyball is one of my favorite uses of a 300 that I've really missed. I love to get up, um, equal to level with the uh, top of the net net in, in the stands and then shoot the spikes as they come uh, at the setups and stuff like that. That's great. A 428 is often too long and you have to back off so far you end up having to climb up too many rows of seats and you lose. Now you're looking down on the tops of their heads instead of in their face. So the 328 is vastly you know better for that purpose. Finally, small town newspapers. A 3028 is the most versatile lens, like Chuck said, chuckles in the, in the beginning. It's so essential for covering high school sports, uh, politics, whatever, an accident. You know, you can't get close to something like that. Um, there's so many people that uh, have to supply their own gear. They can't afford an $11,000 lens. That's like buying a second car for many people. And having a, a less expensive 3028 option would be great. So uh, my buddy Chuckles, or otherwise known as Chuck Burton, he's a retired Associated Press photographer, says that the 3028 is the most versatile lens ever made for news and sports. Uh, Rusty Jones, a buddy of mine in North Carolina, says that the 3028 is totally hand-holdable, and it, it represents sheer portability for a super telephoto lens. I agree. Uh, Gonzalo Delgado says that it's much less costly than a 4028 at $11,000. The extra reach without the bulk of the 400 GM would be very welcome. And the price point is so totally different too, so that a lot of people can't, that can't afford the 400 might have a chance to have a less expensive option. I want to add to that too. I think that Sony would be shocked to see that they would sell more Alpha 1s if they had a 3028 in their inventory. Um, because you can punch in and you can zoom in the sensor because you go from 50 megapixels to 21 at 1.5x and it makes sense and people are talking about that all the time. Uh, price point wise, a 7200 G Master lens is $2,600 new, a 428 is $11,000 new, the G Master. Um, if you average those two, if you add them up and average those together, you end up with $6,800, which is a perfect price point for a 
FE 300 millimeter 2.8 G Master OSS lens. Uh, Canon's uh, version two uh, IS2 is at $6,100, and while it's long in the tooth, the VR2 lens from Nikon is $5,500 at this point. So it would be within a couple hundred bucks of those lenses at, at that price point. Uh, Dave Selig is a friend of mine. Uh, he shoots uh, a lot of music and concerts and stuff in the Northeast. He says um, that the 3028 is the ideal lens for getting into the pit for the first three show, th songs of a show, but still being able to get the drummer close and things like that. Um, you can get tight stuff even though you're like down low in the pit. Chris O'Hagan uh, Quinn shoots equine. He shoots horses for a living. And he talks about how uh, shooting in low light of fast moving horses and arenas, you know, think about it. They're on dirt, just like the, the racing, real racing with auto racing. And uh, a lot of those arenas are, are lit very poorly. And so 3028 would be very, very welcome. Richard O'Donnell says, points out that the 3028 on an Alpha 1 or an A92 or any other camera for that matter would become a 450 millimeter 2.8 when you punch in for high school sports. He said that would be awesome. He goes, that's the only lens I'd ever need for high school sports. David Donaher says that a 3028 would be perfect for his purposes for shooting lacrosse, especially with the 1.4 converter. Jim Cowsert, a fantastic photographer, says the 3028 would be the perfect all-around sports lens for me. It would be easy to pair up with a 1.4, and on the A1, switching between crop mode would be outstanding. Denny Medley says not having a 3028 in their lineup seems like a huge gaping hole in my opinion. I would love, he capitalized love, to be able to add a Sony 300 GM to my kit. Cheryl Lattimore Drury says that I know I should want the 400 because it's perfect and all that, but it's just a little too much reach for me and what I shoot. It seems to me that the Alpha 1 would make the 300 even more desirable since you can crop so easily. I think you are right on the money there, Cheryl. And finally, Gerald Williams wrote half a book. I'm just going to read part of it. Uh, a very uh, good photographer. He says, The 3028 has been a stalwart of photojournalists for decades. I always had a 3028 to use with my pro Nikon and Canon gear. It's great for pro sports, news coverage, and all light, and I've even used it to do fashion and portrait shoots. Sony is missing this key lens in their long lens arsenal. Think about how great the 3028 would be used alone or with a 1.4 or 2x teleconverter. Sony had a 3028 prime in their A mount system. We need the same consideration in E mount. It is long overdue. Please, 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 Sony, don't leave us wanting and needing this lens any longer. I would add to that, don't let Tamron and Sigma beat you to it. This is Pat Murphy Racy saying, Give me a dang 3028. <laughs> Thanks for watching.